This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Much of the world's reserves of oil and gas is under threat from rising tides, storms, floods and extreme temperatures caused by climate change, risk consultancy Verisk Maplecroft said on Thursday. Access to the equivalent of 600 billion barrels or 40% of the world's recoverable oil and gas reserves could be affected by the wild weather with major producers Saudi Arabia, Iraq and Nigeria among the most vulnerable, the UK-based firm wrote in a research note. Climate change confronted the industry this year when extreme cold weather pummeled the main US oil, gas and refining hub on the Gulf Coast, leading to long outages and reduced output. Oil rose towards $75 on Thursday, supported by record US implied demand and falling crude stockpiles even as the spread of the Omicron coronavirus variant threatens to put a break on consumption globally. Crude and other risk assets such as equities also got a boost after the U.S. Federal Reserve gave an upbeat economic outlook, which lifted investor spirits even as the Fed flagged a long-awaited end to its monetary stimulus. Brent crude oil was up 65 cents, or 0.9 percent, to $74.53 a barrel at 12.15 GMT while U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, crude rose $1.01 or 1.4%, to $71.88. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. India's gas oil sales in the first half of December rose from November and compared to the same period last year, preliminary sales data showed on Thursday, reflecting a pickup in industrial activity in the world's third biggest oil consumer. Gas oil sales by the country's state fuel retailers were 2.87 million tons during December 1 15. The data compiled by state owned refiners showed up 17.9% from the same period in November and up 3.3% from a year ago. However, sales were down 1.68% from the same period in 2019. State retailers Indian Oil Corp. Hindustan Petroleum Corp and Bharat Petroleum Corp Limited own about 90% of the country's retail fuel outlets. The World Bank has urged Indonesia to drop a policy forcing miners to supply a set amount of subsidized coal to its state power company, which it said has encouraged the use of the dirty fuel in electricity generation. The recommendation is part of a report released on Thursday intended to encourage more private investment in renewable energy in Indonesia to help the country achieve a target of becoming carbon neutral by 2060 or sooner. The Southeast Asian country is the biggest exporter of thermal coal globally and among the top 10 greenhouse gas emitters. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Gold was boosted on Thursday by a fall in the US dollar after the Federal Reserve decided to end its pandemic era bond purchases early next year. Spot gold was 0.5% higher at 1,785.60 per ounce by 11.39 GMT. U.S. gold futures jumped 1.3% to $1,788.10. The Fed on Wednesday paved the way for three interest rate hikes by the end of 2022 as the economy nears full employment and the U.S. central bank copes with a surge of inflation. That weighed on the dollar, which is down around 0.2% against its rivals, making gold cheaper for holders of other currencies. Lead demand may get a boost in 2022 as battery makers opt for cheaper alternatives to lithium, Chinese research house Antake said on Thursday. Lead acid batteries are commonly used in internal combustion engine cars and have steadily lost ground to lithium ion batteries favored in the burgeoning electric vehicle EV, sector. The price of lead in the second half of this year was very much stabilized, but for lithium it was picking up very fast, Antake analyst Zhang Jiwei told the China Lead and Zinc Conference. Prices for battery-grade lithium carbonate in China have more than quadrupled this year to a record high of 232,500 yuan, $36,514, per ton on resurgent EV demand. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Six European supermarket chains, including two owned by Dutch firm Ahold Delhaize and a Carrefour subsidiary, 
said on Wednesday they would stop selling some or all beef products from Brazil due to links with destruction of the Amazon rainforest. The pledges ranged from supermarket chain Lidl Netherlands, which committed to stop selling all beef originating in South America starting in 2022, to more focused decisions to halt sales of certain corned beef or beef jerky products. The boycotts are in response to an investigation by Brazilian publication reporter Brazil that alleged JBS indirectly sourced cows from illegally deforested areas, in a scheme known as cattle laundering. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.